I was that kid where um, I would find trouble. So as I'm walking, my room door is open, I look over and there's a fire in my room. I was always getting into things like school, to me, wasn't like challenging enough, so I would go find and seek out, you know, seek other things to do. A lot of times they weren't good things. Um, so I, I was screaming at my mom that there was a fire. I'm trying to put it out with water, like I was filling pots with water. And just kind of with the, the wrong people. Um, and I, I got arrested when I was 12 years old. And I remember those were times when I wasn't coming here. I watched everything happen as I was sitting across the street watching my house just burn down in front of me. And I couldn't do anything about it. But I, I do know specifically during that time, if the boys club wasn't around, who knows where I would be. I, I could potentially be talking to you behind bars right now. So the club raised money for me and I was able to use it to buy clothes, things for school, um, basic things just to get my life back together. And, and if there wasn't an intervention such as the boys club there, uh, I, I don't know where I would be. I was very shy. I was very self-conscious of myself. I didn't have many friends and I was very scared of what was gonna happen. I used to be kind of shy, wouldn't really talk to much people. But now that I've been here for a couple years, I really love the place. But now, I'm more, I don't know the word. <laughs> I'm more open. I learned that if you come here and if you, if you not wanna be shy, just let all the shyness come out. I was very nervous, and I didn't think I was going to make any friends here, but I did. It feels like, like you're taking out your soul, but your happy soul. From the counselors, from all the different teachers, the activities they offer, they help them with homework. You get to hang out with your friends and do your homework? Well, when we do homework, after that, like, we go get to have, like, we play games and it's fun. All my grades improved because they helped me. Teenagers like myself helping out other kids and the faculty here for no pay at all. You can tell that they care. The effort that they put into you, your children, um, the way they take care of them, the way they communicate with you. One person or, or, or several people at, at you know, at the place can change your life. I still talk to Mr. Bob. Mr. Morris. Mr. Andrew. Miss Paula Benjamin. You know, at the time, you're a kid, you don't know that they're mentors. You, you look back in life and you're like, wow, man, these people are like your parents in a sense, and, you know, looking out for you. And, it, and um, I feel like I, I always, I feel like I should give back too by volunteering my time um, for what this place has done for me. If this place wasn't here, it would have been so hard for me because I wouldn't be able to work. It's a place where you can call your home. We, we consider it as our second home because we're here almost every day. I live here, but I go sleep in my house. <laughs> Most of my leadership skills came from coming to the Boys and Girls Club. After uh, high school, I, I enlisted into the Navy and I was, uh, I was a Navy corpsman and I was stationed to Marine unit. I, I did two tours in Iraq, I became a nurse, I, I run the operating room. As a teacher, I'm very big on promoting child development and youth development, and this place has been a big part of my development. You're going to change a life, you know, you might not see it, uh, you know, right then and there, but you, you will change your life by donating and, and, and helping the kids. That's what it comes down to.